Today I'm going to show you how to create some WN numbers using Flexi Starter. We are creating some WN numbers for Jacobson Marine. To start the program, press the start key on your keyboard and it brings up this window. Type in F-L-E-X-I and it brings up Flexi Starter. Click on that and it brings up in your window. From this point, we click on File and we click on the single color starter. It'll open the file. As you can see, by default, it is already highlighting the numbers and letters. They have a red outline and then they have the grip boxes here. At this point, we will click uh, on the background just to show you that it deselects that. But we really need it selected, so we're going to click on it again. Then we click on this letter T on the left. As you can see to the right here, there is a cursor that appears. That means the numbers are ready to be edited. We're going to click backspace here to erase those other numbers. And we know from an email that the number is 4395SA is what we are creating. We'll then click on the arrow at the top left here. And it re-highlights those numbers. Now we know we need blue and silver letters. Blue with a silver outline. So we're going to click on this dark blue to change those letters to blue. At this point we're going to get the outline. We're going to do that by going up to effects. Select contour cut. And on the right hand design central window you'll see it's contour, a solid line, and an offset of 0 0.130. We've already got it set to silver so now all we have to do is click the checkbox. At this point, you can see it changed, and there's a little grip here. But uh, we need to make sure that these are now converted to outlines. So we're going to go up to Arrange, and we're going to Convert to Outlines. We want to make sure that our cutting paths are all in the right spot. So we take, click on Arrange, come down to Path Direction, and click Automatic. Now we are ready to save this file into the proper name. We're going to go to File and save as. And it's in the Jacobson Marine folder. And we will give it the name Norberg dash WN4395 SA. At this point we're ready to cut. And we can go to the cut. Oh, no. You know what we need to do? We need to click on the, oops, press Control All, and make sure that everything is selected. And the width we need to make sure is at 23. So we click 23, and it changes to 23. The other thing we need to make sure it's always there is proportional, which should be checked by default. Let's just save this again, and then we can click on the cutter, say yes and we are going to convert this to be face down so we can read it 24 inches wide you can see and this is at 100 percent right here as you can see it's actually going to cut two different colors and we don't want it to cut two different colors at a time so we're going to make sure that send all colors is not checked and we can also actually have a cut out what's called a weed line this red dot line then will actually cut out we only want a single color now as we when we uncheck that the colors are our choices over here we have blue or we have the silver and they're ready to go at this point then once the plotter was set we click send i hope that helps out in instructions